Alicorns, the unicorns with wings, or the pegasi with horns, I guess. You know what I mean. As of right now, there are four alicorn princesses in Equestria. One used to be a unicorn, and according to Twilight Sparkle and the Crystal Heart spell, another used to be a pegasus. So is an alicorn something you can become? What about Celestia and Luna? Did they become alicorns at one point, or were they born alicorns? <laughs> You know what? I feel like being an alicorn today. Yeah, I know, alicorn OCs, Mary Sue, blah blah blah, who cares? Anyway, ever since Ink Rose's video on the subject, it's pretty widely accepted by the fandom that there are two types of alicorns. Naturally born alicorns like Celestia and Luna, and artificial alicorns like Twilight and Cadence. Even Lauren Vow said Celestia and Luna were both born alicorns. Besides, a big difference can be seen between the two sets of princesses. Celestia and Luna don't seem to have aged at all. Even a thousand years before, they looked the same. Meanwhile, Cadence looks very different from her appearance in Twilight's flashback, and compared to a thousand years, that wasn't so long ago. Go. Okay, so that question's pretty much answered, but there's so much we still don't know about alicorns. For example, what makes alicorns so special? Wait, 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 I already played the intro. As I was saying, if an alicorn is just a unicorn with wings, then why is every single alicorn a princess? We know the correlation between alicorns and royalty is pretty well known, even to someone as isolated as Starlight Glimmer was. But Twilight could easily just whip up a spell that gives a unicorn wings. Heck, she already has. Albeit they were butterfly wings and didn't last very long, but the question still stands. Say Twilight magically gave a unicorn a pair of normal Pegasus wings. Would that person become royalty? No. There's another variable here that explains the difference between true alicorns and normal ponies. Magic. It's magic! Each of the four true alicorns have a very strong magic. The episode Twilight's Kingdom confirmed just how special alicorn magic is. Twilight, who contained the magic of four alicorns, was evenly matched against T-Rex, who had the magic of literally everyone else. A common question people seem to ask me a lot is why only Twilight became an alicorn. Each of the main six helped to spread friendship around Equestria, so why don't they all become princesses? Turns out the answer is right here. Twilight was always very magical. She is, after all, the element of magic. Magically speaking, the other five just don't have what it takes. Now, the process of becoming an alicorn is still very vague. We know Twilight was born with the raw potential, and we can assume the sisters were too. However, Cadence we don't really know much about. Even though she was a pegasus, it's been shown that you don't need a horn to hold magic. Maybe she had the same type of magical potential that Twilight had. And actually, now that I think about it, who says Twilight Sparkle and the Crystal Heart spell is even a valid source of information? It's possible that Cadence started out as a unicorn just like Twilight, but like I said, it's not the physical wings and horn combo that makes an alicorn special. It has to be their magic. Now back to naturally born alicorns. This is a topic I find really interesting because it's an area the show has never expanded upon. There's only two naturally born alicorns that we know of. Now obviously I'm not counting the various animation errors, but here's a really good question. Are there any other naturally born alicorns? <laughs> Cut. <sighs> anyway, I like to believe that there are other alicorns out there. The big picture setup of the MLP universe might have a wider scope than we thought. I wouldn't be surprised if there was an entire kingdom of alicorns in some Olympus-like setting, maybe in a land outside Equestria. Since Celestia and Luna exist, you have to wonder if they came from alicorn parents. Maybe they have an entire alicorn family. What if there is a third sister of the stars? Maybe throw some male alicorns into the mix? Who knows? All I know is that the storyline potential for this is endless. Now, the reason why I assumed an Olympus-like setting is because alicorns have been likened to gods and ponies to demigods. I absolutely love I love this idea because it also explains my theory about magic. The alicorns, gods and goddesses, have much more magic than the demigod ponies. And just like Greek mythology, they're also the mortals who have magic in very small amounts, if any at all. What do you guys think? Is magic what makes alicorns special? Are there natural alicorns other than Celestia and Luna? And do you even consider Celestia and Luna to be natural alicorns in the first place? I love to hear what you have to say in the comments. Until then, this is the Brony Notion, signing out until next time. Brohoof.